How to Slow Down Heavy Menstrual Bleeding A good number of women experience heavy menstrual bleeding at least a few times over their lifetime. For some, however, heavy bleeding has become a problem they have to deal with every month. Heavy menstrual bleeding, referred to as menorrhagia by healthcare professionals, may be a slightly serious condition. Aside from being a major nuisance, menorrhagia can cause fatigue, iron deficiency anemia, and severe blood loss. Some instances may also warrant the need for hospitalization to prevent any further harm. If you frequently experience menorrhagia, the following tips will teach you how to slow down heavy menstrual bleeding and avoid any complications that this condition may bring about. 1. Take some over-the-counter meds. NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, such as ibuprofen and diclofenic, treat pain and inflammation. These medications can also slow down heavy menstrual bleeding by as much as 25 to 30 percent and relieve cramps as well. Typically, you take them every four to six hours after a meal or snack. Two, try tranexamic acid, Lystata, or cyclocopron, another drug that can help ease heavy bleeding. Some users have reported lighter periods without flooding and gushing of blood and the resulting anemia. Usually, you would take a dose of two 650 milligram tablets three times a day. Three, consult your doctor for hormone therapy. Certain birth control medications can also help lighten heavy periods by stabilizing the uterine lining and correcting hormonal imbalances that may be present. Physicians may recommend low-dose birth control pills or hormone patches that help regulate your menstrual cycle. Progestin-releasing interuterine devices, IUDs, like Mirena, have also been shown to help keep heavy period flow at bay. 4. Use ice packs. Putting an ice pack on your lower abdomen for around 15 to 20 minutes may reduce heavy bleeding during periods. Do so whenever you experience heavier bleeding than normal. 5. Take in a lot of fluids and salt. Heavy periods often cause you to feel faint and occasionally dizzy. This signals that you've lost a huge amount of blood and your blood volume might be below normal. Signs include suddenly feeling dizzy when getting up and your heart pounding stronger. To prevent this, increase your fluid intake by around four to six cups a day. Consuming salty broths and tomato juice keeps your fluid intake and blood volume up. Six, take iron supplements once a day to combat anemia. Doing so helps keep you healthy and prevent any other complications that may result from heavy blood loss. Alternatively, you can eat more foods that contain large amounts of iron, like red meat, liver, green leafy veggies, and legumes. 7. See your doctor for surgery options. Usually a last resort, surgical procedures involving the uterus can help, especially if certain causes, such as fibroids or a thicker-than-normal uterine lining, are established. Myomectomy, or removal of fibroids, is recommended in the case of too many fibroids causing increased bleeding. Another possibly necessary procedure, Andrometrial ablation involves destroying or partially removing the lining of the uterus. Hysterectomy, on the other hand, pertains to the surgical removal of the uterus, which would stop menstruation. Depending on the diagnosis and whether you still want to be able to get pregnant in the future, your physician will discuss the best surgical options for your situation. Whichever method you may want to try out, the question of how to slow down heavy menstrual bleeding has many answers. Consult your physician to determine which methods may be most effective in your situation.